Life After Life is uh, the story of Ursula Todd, who's born in a snowstorm in February 1910 and who immediately dies and then is born again and lives a little longer and so on and so forth. So she lives, she dies, she lives, she dies. And really, that does encompass the whole structure of the book. Ever since I started writing, I've been planning a war novel at the back of my mind. That was always going to be what the book was about. And then I started writing, and of course she's born in 1910, and you can't just get her from 1910 to 1942 in a couple of pages. And I had never, in my naivety, expected to write so much of the book in 1910, 1920s, you know, the scenes in Simpsons where we are now, and the 1930s. I got to about page 170 of the manuscript, and I thought, we are so far from the war still. So I kind of reassessed in a way, but the Blitz was always the dark beating heart, as, as you look calls it, of the book, and we were always moving there, and in a way, all of the things that come before are part of that journey to that place, I think. She lives through the war and has a terrible loss and begins to realise she doesn't have an awful case of deja vu. She actually is dying and coming to life each time, and she thinks if she could go back, then she could change history, perhaps. My mantra is that there's nothing beyond text, uh, but I, I'm, I'm not stuck to that. I think in this book, was in my head. Life after life goes on, and that she's still out there somewhere being born in a snowstorm in 1910, and there is still the possibility that she will kill Hitler. And that, to me, was incredibly satisfying. I think it's annoyed some readers, but you know, my satisfaction trumped that in the end.